Hello students, this is Mr. Ueda. Welcome to this video tutorial on linking slides for your Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game. Let's click on slide 2 or the game board. Let's go up to the insert tab at the top of your screen. Let's click on shapes. There are many shapes to choose from, but I want you to go all the way to the bottom of this screen to action buttons and I want you to choose the open action button or the custom action button. So let's click on that. All right, now this step is very important. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create a rectangle around the $100 button, but we want the rectangle to be slightly larger than the button. It's okay if it's much wider than the button, but we don't want it to be much taller than the button. So let me demonstrate. So I'm gonna start way over here and I'm going to drag a box and before I let go of the mouse you can see how much larger this new shape is compared to your $100 button. Remember I don't want it too tall but it can be quite wide so I'm going to let go of my mouse now. When you do this uh, window opens up the action settings. Make sure that you've clicked on the mouse click tab. Let's click on hyperlink to and let's change next slide and let's go through the options and let's change it to just slide. Now we have to tell it where, where we want it to go. So the $100 button has to go to your $100 question slide and your $100 question slide is slide six. Click OK. And then click OK. Now, we don't want this action button to cover up the $100 button. It doesn't look very good. So let's go up to the format tab at the top of your screen. And under shape fill, let's choose no fill. And then for shape outline, let's click no outline. So essentially we've made that action button invisible. Now I can prove it to you. Let's deselect and you'll see that that action button has disappeared. All right, so before we move on, it's very important that we test that action button. So from the top menu, let's choose Slideshow, and then let's choose From Current Slide. So we haven't done anything to the screen except for the $100 button. So as I move my cursor around, it is a pointer. But as I move towards the $100 button, it should change to a hand. Now, whenever we see a hand in a PowerPoint presentation, that means we've created an action somewhere behind that hand. Now, as I move my cursor towards the $100 button, and in the center of the $100 button, you see that it no longer is the action button. So we always have to remember that we're going to click on the edge, and that's why we made the action button wider than the $100 button. So let's click on it, and it should take us to the $100 question. That's how we know we've done it right. All right, press escape to end the slideshow and let's go back up to the game board in slide two. All right, to save some time, here's what we're gonna do. I want you to place your cursor towards or near the $100 button and click. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna activate the action button, but not the $100 button. Okay, so let's copy and paste. So let's go up to the home uh, tab we can click copy and then we can click paste. Now it will paste it directly over where it was. So let's grab the new button and let's position it over the one, the $10,000 button. Okay. Now we don't want the action to be the same. So we have to edit this. So let's right click on the action button and let's choose edit hyperlink. That's what this action button is. It's a hyperlink. So let's click edit hyperlink. So let's change. We don't want the $10,000 button to go to slide six. We want the $10,000 button to go to the $10,000 slide, which is slide eight. So I'm just gonna repeat what I did. I'm gonna click the down arrow here and go back to slide. And then I'm going to choose slide eight, not slide seven. Remember slide seven is the 50 50 screen for the $100 question. Slide eight is the $10,000 question slide. So let's click okay. And let's click okay. 
Now, we don't have to change its format because we copied and pasted that hyperlink. All right, let's do the same thing. Let's go up to copy and paste. Let's grab the new action button, place it over the $100,000 button. Let's right click, edit hyperlink, and the $10,000 uh, button has to go to slide 10. Now we always skip the odd number slide, so it's kind of easy to keep track of. We did uh, program the previous button to go to slide 8, now this button has to go to slide 10. Let's click OK. And let's click OK. All right, now I haven't deselected. I've still got this action button highlighted. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to grab the new button, place it over the $125,000 button. I'm going to right click, edit hyperlink. I'm going to change this to slide 12. Remember, we always skip the odd numbered ones. Let's click OK. Let's click OK. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to copy, paste. Let's place it over the $250,000 button. Right click, edit hyperlink. Let's change slide 12 to slide 14. Click OK. Oops, sorry, click OK, and then click OK. All right, copy, paste. Grab the new action button, right click, edit hyperlink. Let's change slide 14 to slide 16. Let's click OK. Let's click OK. All right, one more to go. Let's copy, let's paste. Let's move it over the $1 million button. Right click, edit hyperlink, and we want it to go to slide 18. Slide 18. Click OK and click OK. All right, so we better test these buttons. So let's go up to slideshow from current slide. Now we've already tested the $100 button, so let's click, let's test the $10,000 button. So remember, we want this to go to the $10,000 question slide. So let's click on it. And did it go to the $10,000 question slide? Yes, it did. Make sure it didn't go to the $10,000 50-50 slide. All right, let's escape. Let's go back to slide two. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to test all of the buttons. So I'm going to press pause. I want you to press pause. And when you've tested all the buttons and you've made sure that they all go to the right place, I'll meet you back here. OK, so I'm going to press pause. I want you to press pause. OK, so hopefully all of your buttons work. And if they didn't, that you've corrected them. So this game board is ready to go. So let's click on slide three. Now on slide three, we don't need it to do anything because essentially your game is over. And once we press escape, the slideshow will end. Now, this is a very important slide here, slide four. This button has to go back to the game board because the game is continuing. So let's repeat some of our steps. So let's click on the insert tab at the top and let's click shapes. Let's go all the way down and create a custom action button. So let's create a large square or rectangle around that arrow. All right, let's click on hyperlink two. Let's choose slide. And we want it to go back to the game board, which is slide two. Let's click OK. Let's click OK. Let's go up to format. Let's change the shape fill to no fill. And let's change the outline to no outline. OK. So let's test it. Let's go to slideshow. Let's go to from current slide. Click on from current slide. And as we move our mouse towards that arrow, it should turn into a hand. And when it does, click on it, and we want it to go to the game board, which is slide two. 
And if it does, you've done it correctly. Let's uh, press escape and you should probably save at this point. Okay, so thanks for watching this video on this section on how to link slides. Bye.